Hey everyone, it's me, Africa Hair Guy. So today I want to come and do a first impression review on two products that I received at a natural hair meetup, at a meetup that I attended on National Natural Hair Meetup Day. I think I got all the letters. Yeah. So I'm really, really late with this. Of course, National Natural Hair Meetup Day was May 19th. And I just had a lot going on with the hairstyle and, and others. I've just been so distracted, but uh, I received some samples in my swag bag that I want to take a look at. But before I do that, let me talk about the event. So the event was the Essentially Natural Event hosted by, let me make sure I get the name right, Natural Essential Salon and Spa. Okay, I got a card here. So... The spa is in Lawrenceville, Georgia. I will include the address to that particular location in the description area for you. The hosts were uh, Kenny Slaughter, Bridget Gant, and Nisha Perry Williams. Like, I met these ladies, all three of these ladies spoke with them, and they are all just like really down to earth, very kind, very sweet, beautiful women. Oh my god, I love you guys, if you're watching. Um, and yeah, you guys did an awesome job at this event. They had all types of vendors uh, from uh, health to hair care to beauty to style and clothing to earrings and accessories and and crochet and it, it was just like all over the place and it was it was just awesome so you guys did a fantastic job hope hopefully y'all have one next year I'm hoping cuz I'll definitely be there if you do um, so yeah, the event was very nice. Um, the greatest thing about the event, they had so many freaking giveaways. Like, everyone had a raffle ticket, so they were like giving away giveaways every like 5, 10, 15, every chance they could, they were giving something away. I actually won a giveaway, uh, Shea Moisture Products. Um, I have here the Curl and Shine Shampoo, which I'm going to be using today in this video hold and shine moisture mist and the curl and style milk as well as the curl enhance and smoothie now I've tried the curl and style milk before love it very familiar with it uh, hold and shine moisture mist uh, I believe I tried this before not too crazy about it I mean you know um, curl and shine shampoo haven't tried it but we'll try it today and the curl enhance and smoothie all y'all be raving about this product, so all I'm going to say is, it better work. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but no, seriously, it better work. Alright, so, I have a couple of samples in my swag bag, but the ones that I want to take a look at today in this video is Coco Curls. Um, let me get the flyer. Uh, Coco Curls, and this is um, a sample of her... Styling cream aid. Yeah, that's what it moisturizing styling cream aid and I have Three here. So yeah, I'm going to take a look at that as well as Darcy Botanical sweet cocoa bean moisturizing hair whip So I plan on doing a wet twist out set with these two products What I plan to do is shampoo condition my hair and then I'm going to come back and kind of split my hair somewhat down the middle Use Coco Curls on one side and use Darcy Botanicals Sweet Coco Bean Moisturizing Hair Whip on the other. Just to cut like all the extra doing two separate videos, separate editing, like it just it just seems so much easier to just do two products in one. So who knows? Maybe we'll actually see a difference. Maybe not. But that's what I plan on doing. So I've been running my mouth long enough, so let me go ahead and get started with this review. Alright, be back.
back. It's the end of the day and I wanted to show you how well my twist out held up. So here it is. Still looks and feels great. Much of the definition is still present even after being out in the heat and humidity and after separating and picking my hair out. So absolutely love it. So let me go ahead and talk about the product so this doesn't end up being too long. The Shea Moisture Curl and Shine Shampoo. I really love this. I lathered and rinsed my hair twice with this and it was absolutely not stripping at all. And best of all, my hair felt clean. This is a gentle shampoo. It does claim to be sulfate free and color safe. So that is a good thing. I didn't have to use that much of this. Uh, I have about that much left from the top. So I have a few uses out of this before this actually runs out. And this is a four ounce bottle. So yeah, love this. You can't really ask for more from a shampoo, really. All right, so moving on to the butters. Um, Cocoa Curls, I use this on this side here, um, and the Sweet Cocoa Bee Moisturizing Hair Whip on this side here. To be honest, they both feel pretty much the same. They both have, I can, uh, if you ask me which one I used and I didn't know, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference because they both just kind of have the same end result. First of all, let me talk about the twist. So after I use these products with uh, finishing up my twist, my twist felt soft, as you saw, it had a lot of movement to it, it wasn't stiff at all, and it had a nice little sheen to it as well. So, I appreciate it and love that from the products. When I did the twist out today, my hair continued to feel soft, it still has, you know, some of that natural sheen to it. Um, and I'm just, I can't keep my hands out of my hair because I love it. The products themselves do have a slight hold to it. A soft hold and like I said it just it feels great so these are definitely great one-stop shop products for like moisturizing definition sealing in moisture and hold so I mean you can't really go wrong with these in my opinion also for these butters I also appreciate the fact that a little bit goes a long way and this is all you need for a bomb twist set or twist out like you don't need to apply your moisturizer followed by your oil followed by your butter followed by your gel like this is all of that in one it moisturizes it gives you hold and it gives you shine as well so yeah you you really can't you can't ask for much more and then a little bit goes a long way I've only used this much of the Coco Curls. This is just the sample size on this side here and as you can see I still have a little bit left in there and with the uh, Sweet, Bean, Sweet Coco Bean Moisturizing Hair Whip which I use on this half here I use about that much from the top so I still have a few uses of this before I run out of that as well so yeah a little bit definitely does take you a long way and I, I definitely do recommend these products because I love them uh, before I forget I did have a flyer from Coco Curls from the event and it does say that um, if you like Coco Curls on Facebook and join their mailing list you can receive 20% off your first order and that's pretty much it so loved all three of the products um, had a great experience with them so I'm just going to keep it at that just to keep this short thank you so much for watching hope to help some of you guys and be blessed of course until the next video bye